This is not a suspended time. Ours is a prime time of the spirit. Some try to argue we are hanging in between. Well, let them. But for those wishing to live fully, we cannot simply blame God or governments or some other external forces saying, how much longer will you keep us in suspense? You would perhaps remember this quote from the Gospel of John chapter 10. We are called to perform the works of God so that we all could find meaning in these difficult times, in this difficult crisis, meaning for ourselves and perhaps for others as well. So how do we interpret the signs of these extraordinary times? We mobilize and act, even if constrained by parameters from both inside and outside. So on the outside, many people, many Catholics, Jesuits have rolled up their sleeves to spend themselves completely. In Europe and the Near East, for example, our Jesuit organizations and partners, friends, collaborators put themselves at the service of the weakest and often dying in different ways. On the inside, we recognize that while we are vulnerable mortals, our mortality and our powerlessness do not have the last say. Only by facing our death with humility and faith will we be saved. Accepting our vulnerability may be one of the most freeing and spiritual remedies we can offer to ourselves and others. So in this highly unusual Easter season, let us be guided by the Spirit, built on our vulnerability as a resource as we journey through the crisis and respond through the suspense in tangible works of care, love and hope. God bless.